day, wonderful students. It is another learning time. I am Mr. Onokoya S.O. I will be your financial accounting teacher for today. Our topic of discussion is public sector accounting. Introduction. This topic will help you understand how the president of Nigeria or the governor of Lagos State or the chairman of your local government council gets the money they spend on building roads or providing a free on here education lessons as you are having now. How the financial records of government entities are kept is what we want to learn about today. Therefore, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to, one, distinguish between public sector accounting and private sector accounting. Two, highlight the users of public sector accounting. Three, Elucidate the various funds or policies being kept by the government. Four, differentiate the various sources of revenue available to the three tiers of government. Five, prepare a simple fund sharing statement among the three tiers of government. Meaning, public sector accounting, also called government accounting, is the process of preparing the records, analyzing and interpreting the financial transactions of the government. Public sector accounting shows the receipt and payment of all public funds in all levels of government. This is backed up by the 1999 Constitution of Nigeria as amended and other finance control laws in the three tiers of the government. The three tiers of the government are the federal, state, and local governments. Difference between public sector and private sector accounting. One, public sector uses cash basis of accounting while private sector uses accrual basis of accounting. Cash basis of accounting does not record credit transaction until cash is received or paid. Two, government goal is to provide essential goods and services at reasonable prices, not aimed at making profit, while private sector main goal is to maximize profit. Three, government accounting is governed by the constitution and other finance laws. Why private sector accounting is governed by the Company and Allied Matters Act of 1990. Four, government reports to the member of the public, why private sector reports to the shareholders. Five, government derives revenue through taxation and fines, why private sector derives revenue through sales of goods and services. Users of public sector accounting information. One, the president, governor, and chairman of local government. Two, government advisors. Three, legislators. Four, general public. Five, researchers and media representatives. Six, foreign government. Seven, international finance institutions, e.g. IMF, World Bank. Eight, foreign and local creditors and investors. Fund. Fund is a separate fiscal and accounting entity in which resources are held separated from other funds governed by special rules and regulations and established for specific purposes. Classification of fund. One, government fund. This is where the revenues of government are recorded. Two, proprietary funds. These are funds used to record the source of revenue for government-owned companies like Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, Nigeria Television Authority, ETC. Three, fiduciary funds. These are funds held and managed by the government as a custodian or trust. These funds belong to the third party. Examples are union dues, pension funds, police trust fund, ETC. Examples of government funds. One, consolidated revenue fund. This fund was established by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria all the revenue received by the government are first paid into this fund. It is currently called the Treasury Single Account, TSA. It is from this fund that all other funds get their sources of revenue. B, Federation Fund. This fund houses all direct taxes, indirect taxes, and royalties on mining and excavations of solid minerals. The proceeds of this account are distributable according to the revenue sharing formula in use as at the time. Currently, Nigeria revenue sharing formula is 52.68% to federal government, 
26.72% to all the 36 state governments and 20.6% to all the 774 local governments. C. Development Fund. This fund was established by the Constitution. The purpose is for capital development projects. The sources of income are transferred from the Consolidated Revenue Fund, external grants, and internal grants. D. Contingency Funds. This fund was also established by the government to take care of urgent and unforeseen expenses. It takes care of any national disaster. The source of revenue is from the Consolidated Revenue Fund. Let's take a short break. When we come back, we will look at the sources of government revenue. Welcome back. We now look at sources of government revenue. Sources of government revenue. A. Federal government. The following are the sources of revenue to the federal government. 1. Direct taxes. These are compulsory levies payable by every legal citizen of a country and legal entities that are profit-oriented. Examples are personal income tax of federal government employees called pay as you hand payee, company income tax, petroleum tax, capital gain tax, etc. 2. Indirect tax. These are compulsory levies payable on goods and services being produced or brought into the country. Examples are import duties, which are money collected from goods brought from other countries. Excise duties, which are money collected on goods produced in Nigeria. Tariffs and export duties. 3. Mining activities. These include royalties on mineral resources, e.g. gold, limestone, etc. Revenue from sales of oil, querying licenses, mining fees, etc. 4. Other fees. These include court fees, passport fees, visa fees, advertisement fees on billboards. 5. Earning and sales. These include federal government investments, sales of government properties, e.g. motor vehicles, and proceeds from prison farms. 6. Licenses and internal revenue. This includes arms and ammunition licenses fees, registration and licenses fees, e.g. company registration, club registration fees, churches registration fees, etc. 7. Rent on government properties. This includes income from rent on government quarters, rent on government offices, vehicles, and land fees. 8. Armed forces. This involves income from armed forces educational receipts, sales of small weapons, ammo tanks, and aircraft. 9. Interest and repayment. This involves interest and repayment of loans granted to state governments, government workers, and general loan interest. 10. Miscellaneous. Any other income not mentioned above, e.g. money recovered from drug pushers, sales of seized properties, or recoveries from loot and corruptions, like the Abasha loot recoveries. B. Sources of revenue to state government. The following are the sources of revenue for the state government, which is the second tier of government. 1. Statutory allocation from the federal government. 2. Income tax of state government employees. 3. Fees from state high courts. 4. Licenses of cars, motor ve cycles, vehicles, etc. 5. Interest and repayment of loans granted to workers. 6. State government investments. 7. Rent on government properties. C. Sources of revenue to local government. This is the third tier of government. The following are the sources of revenue to the local government. 1. Statutory allocation from the federal government. 2. Special grants. 3. Donations. 4. Tenement rates. 5. Fines from magistrate courts. 6. Renewal of radio and television local licenses. 7. Park collections. 8. Interest from investments. It is worthy to tell you that from the sources of revenue above, the ones accrued to the federal government are the ones that will be shared using the revenue sharing formula stated above. The state and local government 
are to generate their own revenue from the above listed sources. This is called the internal generated revenue. Whatever is generated by each state or local government will now be added to their statutory allocation from the federal government for them to spend in each year. The document showing the expectation of government incomes and revenues for a particular period, usually a year, is called budget. When the expected income is higher than the expected expenses, we call it budget surplus. If the expected income is lower than the expected expenses, it is called budget deficit. Let's take a short break now. When we come back, we will attempt to solve a question on allocation of funds to government tiers. Welcome back. Let's quickly take this question and solve it. The Federal Government of Nigeria approved the sum of 50 million Naira to five local government areas in the, gov in the country. The allocation was distributed as follows. A. 50% on equality of local government. B. 50% on population basis. The following are the population figures of each local government. A. Ekpe, 1 million. B. Alimosho, 2 million. C. Agege, 500,000. D. Badagri, 1 million. E. Koshofe, 500,000. Solution. You first divide the approved amount into the sharing formula. On 50% equality basis, all the local government will share 25 million Naira, while on population basis, they will also share 25 million Naira. Next thing is to divide the amount to be shared on quality basis amidst the local governments. Each of the local governments will collect 5 million Naira each. That is 25 million Naira divided by 5 local governments. Next is to calculate the proportion of the population basis each local government will collect using their population figure. You do this by finding the percentages of each local government population out of the total population. So you first add all the population figures together. That will give you 5 million people. Next is to put each local government population figure to divide the total population figure and multiply the answer by 25 million Naira. If you do it very well, Ekwe will get 5 million Naira, Ali Mosho will get 10 million Naira, Agege will get 2.5 million Naira, Baragri will get 5 million Naira, Koshofe will get 2.5 million Naira. Next is to present this in the table. The first column of the table will be for local government. The next column is population share. Next column is equality share. And the next column will be total. If you do it very well, Ekwe should have a total allocation of 10 million Naira. That is, 5 million Naira on population basis and 5 million Naira on equality basis. Ali Mosho should have a total allocation of 15 million Naira. That is, 10 million Naira on population basis and 5 million Naira on equality basis. Agege should have 7.5 million Naira as total allocation. That is, 2.5 million Naira on population basis and 5 million Naira on equality basis. Baragri should have a total allocation of 10 million Naira. That is, 5 million Naira on population basis and 5 million Naira on equality basis. Koshafe should have a total allocation of 7.5 million Naira. That is, 2.5 million Naira on population basis and 5 million Naira on equality basis. The last role will feature the totals of equality basis to be 25 million Naira and population basis to be 25 million Naira. Now, take your assignment. 1. Distinguish between public sector accounting and private sector accounting. 2. Differentiate the various sources of revenue available to the three tiers of government. Dear students, you can kindly visit the Lagos State Education Twitter and do at LASG Education to submit your answers, get soft copy of this note, and also ask your questions. For further readings, 
you can visit www.accountinglearning.com or www.cbn.org.ng. You can also lay your hands on good and government recognized financial accounting textbooks for Perusa. This is where we are going to stop for today. Hoping that you will lay your hands on practical questions from past examinations and solve them. Remember that you learn more when you practice by yourselves. Wish you best of luck. Thank you for listening.